Um, ring? I don't know. I think flask. I'm top lane Swain. Um, yeah, I don't know how to begin my videos. I just kind of go, uh, and then say what I'm playing. I, I think that's, until I think of something better, that's going to work out. And then obviously after that I rant about something completely random off the top of my head. And this time it just happens to be the subject I am speaking of. So, getting into the game. Swain. Haven't really played Swain since like season 2. Used to main him. A little fun fact. Boom! Started root. Got the flash. Oh man, we can still get him. He got caught on the wall. I have root soon. Get the jinx! Okay, I'm good. Alright, alright. Abort, abort. Put the ward down. Alright, I started W, so that kinda sucky for me. Jinx, nar, no flash. Um, I had to start root. I mean, I didn't have to, but I wanted to start root so we could, like, you know, get summoner spells out of them. And it was worth it overall as a team game. You know, we got nar flash, and we got jinx flash, which is really good, especially against the Leona land. Jinx has no gap closer. And unless Thresh like flays Zenith Blades perfectly, then Jinx is gonna die. So that was worth. Oh, and Thresh started Lantern too, so that's really good. That's really good for us. Uh, good stuff for bot lane. I'm gonna have a hard time top because I can't really. Oh, are you kidding me? I just walked this way. I can't really harass Nar since he also has a ranged auto attack. I like my root is a super long cooldown and it barely does damage. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and be level two as fast as possible without taking too much damage. I mean, I have flask, but I don't want to use all of my charges and then die to a gank at low HP or something, you know? Ah, we missed once, I guess, but I feel like that was completely out of my hands. I'm just gonna let Nar push me under tower. Or at least closer to my tower. I don't want to get ganked. Like, because if I get behind in this lane, I really don't know how I'm going to get back. My destination is absolute. Boom! Gotcha. Look at that harassment. Ow. Oh. And we'll put a point in E. Put the E there. Boom. Auto. Easy. Easy. CS. Uh oh. Not easy. Not easy. Why do you have to attack that one? This is the least convenient CSing under tower I've ever had. Why don't I have like 80 AD and a faster auto attacks? I should be running my Draven runes. Uh, but yeah, in this matchup, I, I'm assuming I have an advantage once I get all three of my spells because I can press all of those spells on him and they'll do damage. I think that's why I have the advantage. See, we just did damage and he had to jump away. He was scared of us. I think I think we're getting into uh, some good stuff. I haven't even used any potions yet. I'm getting a lot of my mana back from my harassment off of last hitting. Wait, I don't have Doran's ring. Why do I have so much mana? Is it my passive? Oh, I think I have mana passive. It's actually awesome. Yeah, I kill. I get mana back whenever I kill a unit. Okay, so that's why. I was like, I'm getting so much mana back for minion kill. It's my passive. I'm gonna max E. I think that's the way to go here. Because Swain's E puts on like it. Wow, I missed both. I actually missed... Alright, see, I think it's Swain's stupid hard. Holy crap. Uh... Oh, gosh. Alright, we got both. Worth it, boys. I'll start using a flask charge. I see Rek'Sai's in bottom, so I'm just gonna go press E on this Gnar and then walk away. Chill. Press Q. Get some more damage down. Oh my god, I'm doing a really bad job at getting creep score. Now my team sure is pinging a lot. Honestly, if I had noticed way earlier, like if I was any good at top lane and 
teleporting. I probably would have teleported way earlier and done things about them. Oh my god, I just used a root. I would have seen Peter there, but I I don't have root available. I think Nar's recalling. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this, force his teleport. Oh no, he didn't recall. Or maybe he did recall and he came back with not full HP. He did recall, okay. Eat my birds, Nar. I don't want to wait in lane for too long. I'm just going to save up enough for Catalyst and then some potions. Because I want our cooldowns on Teleport to be ex precisely... Or not precisely, but I want them to be as close to the... Uh oh Damn it! That was a lot of damage. I should have flashed earlier, I guess. I didn't think they would do that much damage to me. And this puts me at a really inconvenient amount of gold to buy stuff with. So I don't really know what I should go for. Oh gosh, this is unfortunate. Um, I really don't know. We'll do that. Well, I should have teleported bottom. That's my mistake. Oh yeah, we got the ult now. CS thing's slightly easier, but we're still bad. Damn, my team's super toxic right now. My thoughts exactly. He went Hex Drinker, which is unfortunate. Kind of reduces any kill press. Oh my god. Alright, well I did a lot of damage to them. More than I was expecting for sure. I guess that blasting wand really helped out more than I was expecting. How obvious. Ah. Oh yeah, intentional baits. Worth it. Oh, I got so much mana back. Was that did I get that from a champion kill? Yeah, man, I got so much mana from that champion kill. That's awesome. Swain's cool. I like Swain. It's like Xerath, but harder. And I mean that as in like the passives, not the actual playstyle. Ow. Alright, well we missed. If if I got the root, I would have used my ult and went all in. Because I would have healed off the minions around me. Normally you don't want to fight an enemy in many ways, but as Swain, I mean you get extra HP, so why not, right? Yay, HP! I don't have any flask charges left. But if I just don't take any harass from Nar, I can use my ultimate to heal and then use the killing blows off the minions to restore mana. So I can technically have like infinite resources, right? Except I'm really bad at last hitting. So I'm I'm having really bad mana problems. But I have enough for, for catalyst now, so I'm gonna go by that. The wave is not exactly where I'd like it, but at least the tower is starting to hit it, you know? Let's get some more potions. We good, we in here. What did he get? More magic resist. Damn, this this guy's going ham on the magic resist. Um, but yeah. So anyway, back to the reason I even picked Swain. So I went Swain because right, this was our comp: Oriana, Pantheon, Graves, and Leona. I would say like, oh, what's a good Oriana combo? Malphite. I could go Malphite, but I wouldn't want to go AP Malphite. I want to go Tank Malphite. But why would I go Tank Malphite when we only have one source of AP damage, and if she gets shut down in lane? then they can just stack armor and win. So I'll go an AP champion that builds kind of tanky. And Swain's kind of tanky because you get like Abyssal Scepter, Hourglass, and I get that good, you know, magic damage in there. Stop that TP. 
Please leave me alone. I have a family. Why didn't my my root go off? Did I not have mana for it? I'm gonna have to watch the bot. Or the replay. I could have sworn I was spamming W. If that W went off, I was good to go. Damn, that sucks. I popped my health potion during that runaway and everything. I am pretty sure I could have killed him if the root went off. But I might not have had enough mana, so that's unfortunate. Uh oh. I'm helping! You run away from that, Oriana. Worth it. Dude, I got a blue buff out of this deal. That's why I call value. Help! Alright, well, we took a lot of damage, but we hurt the Ari a lot, so she won't be getting CS anytime soon. Of course, my tower is under, you know, distress, which is unfortunate. Oh my god, I need money. I really just don't want to sell anything, but I want to buy my rod thing. Oh, we got a tower. I could have recalled instantly. My tower is probably going to die top lane now, which is really unfortunate. Or you could just like leave it there and not kill it, which is kind of cool, I guess. But we have our thing now, which is nice. We can start stacking. I didn't even use my trinket ward like more than once, so didn't really get much value out of that. I haven't even placed this ward that I bought on my first back. I should have. I died to a gank by that point, so... As far as CS is going, I mean, I am down by 13, but I did just, you know, like, teleport away, and I have two deaths compared to his zero, so all things, you know, taken into account, I'd say my CS is fine. Obviously, I missed a lot of easy CS I shouldn't have, and I'm really bad, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm not that far behind. I uh, oh, he's freezing the lane, which means I have to push it, which means Rexai might be here, which means I might die, which means I'm a sad panda. I think that was some lag or something. I like, couldn't auto attack. Oh boy, the Pantheon ult coming down. And Thresh is a goner. I want to be careful about Meganar, just because, I mean, that has a lot of stuns, and I don't like being stunned. I probably should be maxing Q-second. I think I put a point in uh, W, like, for two points, as, like, a panic thing. I don't think I actually want to put that as my next priority spell. Alright, that was a good trade. Pop my mana potion, kill some minions, get some mana back. He has a lot of magic resist and potions though, so it's not definitely not going to be like a super awesome playmaking trade, but it helps. And we got dragon, which is nice. Alright, I'm still down about the same amount of CS. I'm really pushed up though, so anything can happen. Like Thresh and me getting caught on minions. And Meganar proccing at the perfect time and me not me being really stupid and horrible. Oh my god, I keep getting ganked and I'm not avoiding it and I'm really dumb. Okay. Hourglass next. Oh my gosh. I need to like just get out of top lane, because I'm not safe there. This Nar spamming magic resist and getting a bunch of ganks. I need to like go bottom and kill Jinx. She's one one five. She can't kill me. She doesn't even have a completed item yet. I'm five steps ahead. Like, I just need to go to Jinx. But as I as I walk top lane, but Leona's got the flank, so Jinx is being taken care of. I don't need to be there, but at the same time, I don't want to be top because because then I'll just die. But I don't know. It's my own fault. I can avoid it. I just need to learn from my mistakes and stop. 
being bad. Uh, everyone's in my exit R, so they could be anywhere near top. He went Ninja Tabby. That's probably for the Pantheon and Graves. I assume. Not for me. This is unbelievable. I'm really sad at what just happened. I wish I had seen this coming and played it better. Oh my. There's so many people here. All the time. But we're getting mid tower for it. Which is a good answer. So, it's a team game. I can complain all I want. I mean, I'm getting wrecked. But, it's a team game. My team's doing things while I'm being punished. So, I'll take it. Alright, what's this do? Damage. Slow. Oh, more slow. This is cooldown. Big cooldown reduction. I honestly, even though I think the slow is definitely more uh, reliable, I think maxing W might actually be okay. Please don't be in here. Okay. I just feel like I'm going to get ganked again, so I'm going to walk away. I'm getting that feeling I've been getting every time I die. Could be nerves. Who knows? Maybe nothing's happening. But I, all I know is I need to get out of here. Dragons in soon, like two, two and a half minutes. I need to build some of that armor with the arm guard, so I can, you know, survive wreck side ganks easier. Yeah, Ari was MIA in the top river. She was probably roaming. Okay, well, Jinx still has no completed item. Rek'Sai has almost Black Cleaver with Cinder Hulk. Ari has no boots, so she's like an easy target in fights for me. Um, Nar is really annoying. He's super tanky, bought tons of magic resist. And he's allowed to get away with this full tank build right now just because, like, he doesn't need to do damage to kill me because he has his team to do that. This is really aggravating, but it's okay. I'm on my way. I know I have no nowhere really good to teleport to. I can't teleport to Oriana Ball. Like I could teleport to the blue buff, but I wouldn't be able to get to the fight. You know, I'd have to take a really long route. This wouldn't work. Thresh lived there, unfortunately. I kind of ignored him. I could have just sent an auto attack after him. But I really wanted to kill Jinx more than anyone. Thresh was not a priority target, so letting him live is the worst thing. Oh my god, the extra move speed Ari just got from her Q is like super OP. Dodged my root completely. Am I dead? Hello? Am I dead? What's happening? I don't know where he's going. I have a lot of money now. Baron, or not Baron, but Dragon's in one minute. I don't really want to go top anymore because that lane is evil. Saving up for Hourglass, that's going to be a really important item. Just kind of pressuring mid lane, keeping it pushed so we can go to Dragon in 30 seconds. I'm assuming the boots I'm going to want is Spell Pen, just because everyone's going to have Magic Resist. I'm assuming they're going to buy a Locket at some point. Nars building tons of Magic Resist. I think just more Spell Pen will be really useful for me. And Ari's already chunked to half HP before the Dragon even spawns, so this is looking good for us. I can just teleport top after it's dead, since Nars not coming down. Pull it out. Pull, pull it, pull it, okay. Yeah, 
Noxus. Just in case. Shit. That minion pathing destroyed me. Nardus TP down. And I went down to try and stop it. Like, I even queued his Banshee's Veil off so I could root him to stop the teleport. Because I knew that's what he was going to do. Like, I knew it. But I went to go root him when I saw the teleport. And, uh. Yeah. I got minion pathed and couldn't get in range to cast it. Damn, I could have I could have stopped him if I played that better. That sucks that I let my team down. It's kind of a, a, an important thing that happened. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this tower. No, I won't. It's only Jinx now, and I can fight her, but I have no mana. Rek'Sai could be coming up and. I got some damage on it, but I'm gonna go buy my large rod. Uh, my CS is about even with the rest of the game. It's not that good, but it's about even, so nothing really to complain about. Put some wards in that inventory. Um. Just. Just chilling now. Wait, why are the graves here? This is my farm. Oh my gosh. Well, that was unfortunate that we both went top the farm. I can't tell whose fault it was because we we're both at fault. Holy moly. Give me health minions. I'm gonna call worth. Ouch. Damn it, I died in one auto. I think he crit. That stinks. But that was super worth in, in total. Like, and that is why Swain was my pick for that exact scenario. So, that, w that was worth. I wish I had had my hourglass for it, it would have made it easier. And, uh... Got... Wards I still haven't placed. Sorry, if I, if I like, stop talking randomly, it's because I'm getting super distracted by, like, things in the house. Um... Now what? I think we just keep team fighting until the game's over. This is pretty much solo queue at this point. All lands are over. Let's just keep fighting and fighting and fighting 5v5 until we eventually win. I think that's the goal. And the dream. Zone out with that thing. I have Zonia's, it's fine. It's not fine, obviously, I'm so dumb. Why didn't I press Zanyas? Man, I'm just really not mechanically on it today. I, I've been playing support all morning, so that's probably why, because support's an easy, no skill required, hee hee hee. Damn, man, I could've, I could've totally, uh, had zero deaths in this game if I was up to par. I'm really disappointed in myself. But it's working out anyway. Things, things are going well for us. Even though things are going poorly for me, they're going well for our team. So, worth. Wait, what? Wasn't he at Baron? Oh my god, he was there. I could have sworn. Teleported! Aw, oh, damn, he went to a different angle. Please give me an assist at least. Okay, I'll take the kill. I didn't want to TP and get nothing. That would have. Oh my god, I thought that was my ward button. 
Damn it, I suck. I still had it in my finger on it from the last team fight. I'm so off today. I need to go heal off minions. I don't have any wards for it, so I don't know what to do. I wasn't gonna go 1v5 yet. Wards! Need to carry life! I don't have hourglass, I'm running away. Oh wait, no, I'm killing, killing, killing! Oh my god, I'm so skilled! Yeah, triple kill swing, I'm actually the best player ever. I think you saw in the video before it doesn't count. Yeah! I waited to use all my abilities until I saw Ari at bot lane. Or at least my ultimate. I don't know about all my abilities, but ooh, just get the item or get some boots. I think I think this is what I need to do. I I, I can't just build straight mage, or else we'll lose because we already have a straight mage. That's Oriana. I need to be like the semi mage that does a little of everything and a lot of nothing. So, I think I'm gonna go with that and some more spell then. What's my cooldown reduction? 5%! Oh, that's unacceptable. Forget the spell pen boots. We're going with CDR boots. Much better. 20%. Good stuff. Root is on an 8 second cooldown. I, oh, I'm ready. And we'll just wait one uh, for Blasting Wand. I could get like a Fiendish Codex for more CDR, but I mean, Riley's Crystal Scepter. I mean, come on. I already have a slow with my Q, but I'm not maxing it, so, you know, slowing people with my birds, my alt and stuff, it's gonna be super worth. I don't have teleport, but I do have flash. Maybe I can just flash on this Ari. Like, if she gets too close, maybe I'll just flash on her and it'll work out. Who knows? I won't, I'm not even gonna flash, I'm just gonna press slow and she's gonna have a lantern, unfortunately, but. It would totally would have worked. She was a dead. She was a dead man. That's what. That nah. That that Ari was just dead. She actually just died. For those of you that didn't know. Guess we're going bottom. Nah, I'm okay with that. No TP on me though. Who's camping over here, waiting for us to push? Who's here? Nobody. Let me clear this tunnel. Let me clear in this jungle. Who's over here? Oh, you over here. Boom! You caught out, son. I'm caught out, son. But I'm fine. I'm fine, right? I would like the hourglass, please. Thank you. I have very little mana. I'm recharging with blast. Good luck hopping out of there, son. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, we're good. Holy crap. I like to live! Damn it. If I went spell pen boots, that Thresh would have died. Or if I just played better. That was just dumb of me. Wow, she just flashed pick. Okay. I think I think they could have turned. They can't anymore, but I think they could have turned. I, I definitely think they could have turned. But my bad, I guess. Oops. I died a lot. No, we're not taking my farm. I need it. I need it. Alright, well, Nar is just tanky. That is a fact. Hmm. So, I guess all we do now is just keep fighting. I honestly think that's what we do. We have a team fight composition. We, we don't really siege very well. We make 
picks, we dive, we fight. That's what we do. That's what our comp does, and there's nothing else to explain. I really want this Crystal Scepter. 200G, please. If you insist. Thank you, Garavi, for your donation in the bottom lane. I have TP. We can get. We're making the plays. We're going for this jinx. Boom! Yeah, you didn't see me over here, did you, Jinx? Oh, you done. We're pressing ult. We're pressing the button. Press Q. He's down. Who's over here? Is anyone else alive? Alright, Thrash. There's a ward in there, but I don't care. Alright, successful flank. Good job, Jordan. We did it. That jinx was going nowhere. Oh man, free food. I love free food. Out the flash. Swain snare OP OP. Let's go to old Monkey Jinx again. You. Yeah. Oh, we're slowed by this guy. Get her! Yeah, yeah, you done. Oh, you done too. Oh, everyone's done. Everyone's so done. Swing! We just walk at them. And if they ever come close to killing us, we just press hourglass. This is the best. Being near them heals me. It's the best champion mechanic in the game. Alright, well, I did really badly. I fed a lot. But, for some reason, I feel like this is totally YouTube worthy, I'm gonna upload it. Obviously, because you're listening to me, but... Thank you guys for watching my amazing Throwback Swain Season 2 main top video. And hopefully, when you guys totally follow my tracks and play Swain Top, you will also walk at people. Because that's what Swain does. But we did it with style, because we have this sick-ass skin. So thanks for watching and stuff and things and stuff. I'm going to uh, upload more AD Carry stuff. I was, I was just been having, I've been having fun playing not AD Carry stuff lately, so I'll go back to uploading AD Carry stuff. But, you know, I'm just having fun. So thanks and stuff and things and stuff, and see you next time.